Communication is cut off. The sensor devices we have brought here seem to be malfunctioning. The laws followed here are far beyond our understanding. I kind of expected the instruments to malfunction. I don't feel Grayspace entities. We are safe here for now. 
Let's stay close to one another and advance carefully. What's this? Some sort of control panel? Something similar was also present in the Black Stone Ruins of Domain 9, but we don't know much about it other than some preliminary speculations. Some ruins in Domain 9 have been damaged. The device might be malfunctioning as a result. The timestamp is resonating with this device? The Black Stone Ruins in Fira and Domain 9. I knew it. We might be able to make some further discoveries about it here. Look! The things up ahead! Are those... images of us? Move closer for a better look. It looks like a mirror, but it doesn't reflect what we do. Hmm. Shall we imitate their actions? Or should I say, ours? Let's try it out. <sighs> look! There are also similar images behind us. This happened not too long ago. It has kept a full record of our movement since we entered Blackstone Ruins, which might be a cue. The image in front of us echoes it from afar. This might be us in the future. So, the ones in front of us are from the future, while the ones behind us are from the past, and those in the middle are us at present? If the present us imitates the actions of the future us, then the future in the mirror will become the future in reality. This seems to make sense, but I'm already lost. Incredible! They may have invented some device to record our past, but how exactly would they show us our future? This might be the result of space-time's instability. The so-called past, present, and future are likely coexisting here. To answer whys and hows might be beyond our ability, but we can give it a try based on our conjectures. Hmm. We might be able to move forward by imitating the future us. Is this a totem? They want us to see this? I have seen similar totems in Domain 9. Similar, but different. They probably have different meanings in different black stone ruins. Is it a planet? Or peaks and troughs? What are they trying to tell us? Don't you find that eye symbol similar to the one in the Confounding Abyss? It might be some kind of symbol of this alien civilization declaring their territory. So far, this civilization doesn't seem hostile toward us. We can even use these unusual creations they've left behind. I'd love to know what alien civilization left these here. But these black stones engraved with totems are left here. They ultimately still perished in the dust. Another totem. For some reason, this reminds me of Mororia. It hangs above the confounding abyss. The eye, just as the pattern presents. Is this just a coincidence? I guess some coincidences are actually inevitable. <clears throat> just a guess. Are you suggesting another possibility? These totems are not relics of the past, but a record of our development and transition. In other words, 
They've been watching us. In this case, we must prepare ourselves for the day when we finally face them. I hope it's not too late. So confused. Those tentacle looking things. Could they be gray space entities? Could it be an implication of the development and evolution of gray space entities? They grow, expand, override, and encroach. Perfectly in line with what we know about the gray space entities. I don't know for how long this alien civilization has coexisted with gray space entities. If they were doomed to perish, <sighs> I can't let this tragedy happen again. I've seen this pattern in another Blackstone Ruin, in Domain 9. We would interpret this as suppression and sealing, which is the primary purpose of many Blackstone Ruins. Interesting. Could these patterns indicate the function of the Blackstone Ruins? Could the ruins here have four different functions? Or is it just a summary? Like a showroom that displays and explains? Ah, uh, I wish there was some clearer explanation. Are we... back safely? Lin, can you hear me? Communication seems to be up and going again as soon as we leave the ruins. How is it? We've just received an update from the monitoring department. The stability of the space-time under the Grand Sea is improving steadily. This must be related to what you did inside the ruins. Good news. Mr. Conroe also got in touch with us not too long ago, sharing some unexpected changes to the Abyss Current that have come to his attention. He's waiting for you over there. I believe he has something very important to discuss. Thank you. We'll be there shortly.
worry about the weight, Conrail. It doesn't bother me. But the guys at the other end of the Celestial Gate might not be able to sit still. We've stayed a bit too long. You must be worried. Yeah, it's time to go back. I probably have a mountain of problems to deal with. Coincidentally, while you were away at Blackstone Ruins, I noticed some interesting changes in the Abyss Current. For example, the Grayspace entities around the Abyss Current are no longer drawn to it, and the space-time collapse under the sea stopped abruptly. I assumed these were all caused by what you did there. I guess there is some kind of an energy pulse derived from Blackstone Ruins, which has neutralized the Abyss Current's disruptive force. The Abyss Current can now be controlled using a timestamp. In other words, we can now use a timestamp to transform the Abyss Current into a celestial gate to serve our needs. This is too risky. We don't have a safer option now. The Abyss Current's impact on space-time won't cease to exist. We can no longer open the Celestial Gate with a timestamp. Everything inside the Abyss Current is unknown to us. If this is our only chance to go back to Domain 9, I'm taking it. Mm. <laughs> Don't worry. I perform best when I'm alone. Companions would only have my hands and feet bound. It sounds rather stiff. Keep in touch. I know you've got this. So, I'll set out to explore inside the Abyss Current. See you around. Archon Larson, we successfully located Blackstone Ruins and revealed its entrance through a timestamp. We explored inside and managed to reboot Blackstone Ruins, which exerted influence on the Abyss Current, stabilizing the underwater space-time. Mr. Conroe believes this Abyss Current, under the control of the timestamp, could be a link between Domain 9 and Vera. Not only that, he has set out to verify this himself. If Mr. Conroe could verify this conjecture on this trip, we would be able to establish a stable connection with Domain 9 through the Abyss Current. And more cooperation could be carried out between Domain 9 and Hykros to tackle the potential threats posed by gray space entities. Lyra, continue monitoring the Abyss Current and the Blackstone Ruins. We need to learn more about how the Blackstone and gray space entities affect each other. That's right. We're already working on it. This series of emergencies that have threatened the safety of the people of Vera is over for now. Fiona, Lyra, Lynn, Miss Lon from Domain 9, Miss Shirley, and the Executor, thank you for your service. That's all for today. The crisis caused by the Abyss Current has not yet completely subsided, but it's largely considered under control. The Daily Order has been gradually restored in Inners. I'm confident that soon everything will be back to normal. Thank you for all your hard work. We're glad to be of help. Although this incident has come to an end, we will pay close attention to its development here. Lin, are you also heading back to Mororia? You guys are always together. Actually, I plan to stay in Inners a bit longer. Ruby is doing really well. Archon Larson has released her from observation and put her back in my care. I didn't have much time for her lately. I'd like to bring her here to make it up to her a little. 
That's great news. Would you do me the honor of planning your visit? It just so happens that the Inner's Oceanography Research Lab is currently open to the public. Would you be interested in a tour together? Some of the lab's most precious collections are on exhibition. I'd like to invite you both to enjoy the unique charm of the Grand Sea. Thank you, Archon Fiona. I look forward to this tour. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Call me Fiona. Great. Lynn and I will see you at the Oceanography Research Lab. It's a deal.